Belzer TV, or I'm Christian. And I'm Sam. We are here to start off your day by bringing you the latest in Belzer news. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. You know, some people get really crazy with Christmas lights. This time of year, hundreds, sometimes even thousands of Christmas lights can be seen on houses every year. I'm starting to get hungry. What's for lunch, Christian? Well, at lunch, you can choose from potato-crusted fish filet, soft crust pizza, BLT chef salad with egg, or a ham turkey and cheese bagel. Our sides are golden corn tater tots and coleslaw. Yum! Canadian cops have found a new way to punish drunk drivers. The cops have decided to force the drivers to listen to Nickelback by blasting the music at the driver drivers while directing them back to the station. That's hilarious. <laughs> Joe Thomas Sr. made college football history by appearing as a running back for South Carolina State. He is believed to be the oldest player to ever participate in Division I football game at age 55. You go, Joe. Now to Demi with the sports and sports update. Take it away, Demi. Good morning, Bruins. I'm Demi, and I'm here to bring you the sports update. The basketball player of the week goes to Greg Jenkins. Swimming trials begin today at 4 o'clock. Girls basketball begin Monday, not Tuesday, as previously announced. Wrestling practice also begins on Monday. You must have a completed physical on file with the <coughs> athletic office. Last night, the Patriots played against the Portland Trailblazers. Portland won 131-109. to Now, Thank you, Demi. One additional sports announcement okay. correction from our swim coaches. Due to last-minute changes, the diving coach will have tryouts after school on Monday, December 5th. Swimmers need to meet Coach Majeski and Coach Higgins at the front door, number one, after school today. You will leave for the pool promptly at 4 p.m. Elite Gaming Live will take place today in the LGI room after school. <coughs> Reminder to all students from our principals, when arriving at school, your winter coats are to be put in your lockers for the day and should not be worn to class. The next Wildlife Club meeting is tomorrow at 7.30 in the Big Gym. All Belzer students are welcome. Come for fun, fellowship, and small group discussion. Enter through door 14. If you have any questions, ask Mr. Sears or Mr. Miller. Our interesting fact for today is that hot water freezes faster than cold water. Wow, that's interesting. Today's celebrity birthday is Tyler Joseph from 21 Pilots, who turns 28 today. I love their music. On this day in history in 1990, the English Channel Tunnel was completed, connecting Great Britain with mainland England. Quote of the, our quote of the day is from Bertrand Russell, who once said, The good life is one that is inspired by love and guided by knowledge. Those are some good words to live by. Now to Mr. Harsha with the rest of your morning announcements. Have, Have a, a great, great day, day, Bruins. Bruins. Overall, I was extremely pleased with the uh, performance yesterday by students in getting to class and uh, meeting our expectations as far as tardies go. Um, there were some students that were tardy, and we processed them through the system. Please remember how important it is that you have your ID on you at all times, not just because of this HERO system, but it is a safety issue here in the building, and we want to make sure we can identify students at all times. So. If you've not gotten your ID yet, you need to make sure you get to student services and get it by tomorrow. Teachers, again, final reminder, don't forget to email me the names of any students that do not have an ID tomorrow morning, Friday. Um, we want to make sure we get those students addressed right away uh, and continue to get to class on time. Students, I appreciate your cooperation with that. And uh, the rest of the time this morning will be used for silent reading. Make it a great day.